First of all, I, I listened to your analysis of the problem and the solution. And I found that there is no global self at all in your analysis and also in the solution. Is it just a mistake? How come that we can discuss this issue without seeing the global south as a victim or as part of the solution to the problem of, 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 of the new Cold War? The, the new Cold War. Now, the second part is that in providing solutions, you did mention that we needed to rescue people like Bernie Sanders from their ideological problems and so on. Now, in rescuing the Bernie Sanders and others from their ideological hang-ups and so on, why is the working class in the United States of America? Why do we focus attention on people like Bernie Sanders and others, whereas the key to the solution may be the mobilization of the working class in the United States of America? These are my concerns. Very good question. Thank you. Firstly, my focus here has not been the solution to the sustainability of the human race. <laughs> my focus has been on a solution or what we can do to ease the new Cold War between the United States and China. So you may have not that didn't say much about Europe. I said Europe is irrelevant. As a European, I don't think Europe is relevant because my life is <laughs> determined by the fate of Europe. So in the same way, I didn't discuss Europe. I didn't discuss this global south. Not because I don't believe that the European continent or the global south is important, but because here is a clear economic, military, and discursive war between the United States and China, and I was addressing that. You did notice, I hope, that I did mention as part of what I think China should do, is build close relations of solidarity with uh, the local communities in Africa, and more generally the global south. Now, Humanity is not going to survive until, until and unless we have a massive redistribution of power, not just income, but of power, from the global north to the global south. Um, I, I could speak for five hours of this. <laughs> okay, But that, that wasn't the topic of my discussion today. Indeed, I very strongly believe that China should work, and I think China understands that, the authorities understand that. They should work towards a new international economic order whereby trade is denominated in a common, common accounting unit with symmetrical levies and penalties on surpluses and deficits. These levies will play two roles. Firstly, they will stabilize, rebalance trade internationally, and secondly, because it will be charged, these levies will go into a common account. And that common account must be wholly committed to investment in the global south, to affect the international distribution of income, power, and wealth to the global south. Um, it's just that I didn't focus on this because it wasn't my theme. Now, regarding Bernie Sanders, Alexandria, Ocasio, Cortez, and so on, look, I have many difficulties with them. I know them personally. I've worked with them, I've disagreed with them, I clash with them, I've been disappointed by them. You know, my life is a steady stream of disappointments from, from you know, former coll colleagues and comrades. <laughs> uh, there is no contradiction between what you said and what I said. You talked about solidarity with the American working class. Now, the only person who's actually spoken for the American working class in the last decade has been Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is very good when he speaks about the working class of the United States, and he's the only politician who can address the working class women and men of the United States in a way that they feel that they've been acknowledged and they have been understood. When it comes to China, when it comes to Palestine, when it comes to, yeah, to China and to Palestine primarily, they have a block. They're scared. People like um, Ukraine, yeah, Ukraine maybe, 
right? They're scared. They feel that if they say what they, what's in their heart, they will be completely and totally destroyed by the media. And they will be, there's no doubt. They are right in that. So, you know, Bernie's finished. Bernie, for me, made a huge mistake in 2016. He should have created his own party, a progressive party, and run against the other two parties. He didn't do that, and that's why history will forget him. He had 900,000 volunteers, working class people, and youngsters who were ready to run for it. Okay? Uh, but still, I just mentioned his name so that you under people understand in the audience the, the kind of person in the United States that we need to approach. But we agree entirely. The objective is solidarity with the American working class. Because you know what, folks? I think that the American working class are the greatest victims together with people in the Global South, people in Sri Lanka, and in Zambia, and in Nigeria, the American working class are just as much victims of American capital and imperialism as the people in the Global South are. So yes, solidarity between the people of the Global South, um, the working class of Germany, who are now in a terrible state, the working class of Greece, which are destroyed, <laughs> And the working class of, you know, proletarians of the world unite, as we used to say once, right?